The first combatant will be Alder Fryer, a man at arms from Sir Divish of Townbogue's garrison, who will measure his skills against Henry of Skelets from the company of Sir Radzik Kabbalah. Let us wish the combatants luck. Sir Hanish, by whose good grace this tourney is convened, selects the weapons for the third decisive duel. We will witness a duel with longswords. Alright, hey everybody, Brett from Astartes Gaming here, back with another episode of our Kingdom Come Deliverance Let's Play. So, uh, we have a slight change of plans, in case that wasn't obvious. Uh, as it happened, right after I ended the last episode and went to sort of head home and get Henry to sleep, I got notified that there was going to be a tournament in the morning. So, here we are, fighting in said tournament, and hopefully winning said tournament after all the training I did. But, uh... We were initially planning on going to Sasau and taking care of the huge variety of quests that we've managed to pick up that are all set in Sasau. But that's going to have to wait because we need to win this tournament and get our revenge on Black Peter. Um, and then I think what we'll do is we have another uh, bandit or I guess human bounty hunting quest. I think we'll knock that out as well. Because I don't want to have to go back to Townburg in the middle of our like Sasau adventure. Take that! No block, nice. Oh, that was just like well short. Why am I lagging? It's not good. Jesus Christ! Well, I mean, Scar Maker always works. I just wish the other combos were as consistent. Nice. And then, overhand swing to follow it. No, I guess I did that wrong. Right, left. Nope, that was a stab, not a left. Uh, why aren't you blocking? There we go. Well landed. Are you saying that to yourself? It seems kind of cocky of you. There we go. God, I want to land another combo on you so bad. I think it's like left, left, right, stab is another one. Let's try that. Left, right, stab. I mean, that did something. I don't think it was a combo, though. Left, right. Oh, okay. The second bout will surely be no less exciting. This one may decide the winner. The combatants will engage in a duel with war hammers and shields. That just sounds so much more epic. Uh, I have like no skill in Warhammers though, so if he does, this is not gonna go well for us. Uh, maybe I can just like pin him in the corner and bludgeon him. There we go. God, I wish Headcracker worked in these. I've, I've had that trigger so many times and then like not actually do what it should. I couldn't tell if I blocked any of that. Time up, time up. I guess nobody told Radzig that there was a tourney going on today. Ooh. That was like a real wet thud. Ouch. God, I wish I had combos. Like, I'll, If I don't have a combo, I don't even know what to do on offense. I just kind of sit here and wait for a, a counter-attack opportunity or something. Shit. It's kind of hard to be aggressive when you don't have like, any advanced moves. Oh, that works. Well... 
that was only the first round, so nothing to get too excited about. Even though we did win with our worst weapon. The first combatant will be Kolda Odatar, catchbowl of the Ratai Bailiff. And his adversary will be Henry of Skelets from the company of Sir Ratai Kabla. Let us wish the combatants luck. The combatants have entered the arena and the first duel may oh, commence. We will witness a duel with longswords. Okay. This guy looks big. They call him the tower. So he must be... He must be pretty tough. Oh, okay. He's got some skill. Right, left, oh, well, if I miss it doesn't work. So we'll try that again. Right, left, stab. I think that's a combo. Right, left, stab, no. Nope. Or maybe it was and he just countered it. Oh, dude, come on. Well, Scar Maker always works for me, so let's stick with that. Or not. Yeah, I can't remember what it is. Ouch. I think those are mostly just like slaps on the arm, but still. Shouldn't let him land so many hits on us. God, it'd be so much easier to fight if my frame rate wasn't so crap. I don't know why it's doing this. It was literally fine a couple seconds ago before I started this. guy's pretty good. A lot better than the last guy, anyway. There we go. Nice. Always follow it up. Oh, and pay attention. <laughs> there we go. Nope, he's not going to let that happen. Damn. Yeah, I'm probably better off not attacking. At least not nearly as often. God, that frame rate. I shouldn't have done that. At least I got out of the way. Right, left. Oh, I missed. Hmm. Let's try high left. Low right? No, that didn't work. <laughs> I just, I cannot for the life of me remember what these combos are. I just checked them before I started recording, too. There's just so many. Hey, who's there? What's going? I can't seem to get that low right. But I think that's what the combo is. I think it's high left, low right. I finally got it at the right angle, and he perfect blocks it. Bollocks! Okay. There. And again, I get it. <laughs> Somehow, in the middle of being pummeled, he manages to counter it. Oh, there we go. And overhand swing. Nice. I'll just get out of the way of that. What is going on with the frame rate? He's like jittering across the the ring square, whatever it is here. Got him finally. Are you done? Whew. 
Oh, I'm not looking forward to fighting with whatever his chosen weapon is. The second bout will surely be no less exciting. This one may decide the winner. Prepare to watch a fierce fight with axes and shields. Yeah, not my strong suit here. Cut! Uh, let's take the fight to him. And I'm just gonna bludgeon him in the corner here. Or maybe I'll get bludgeoned. That looked like it hit him right in the face, but okay. Yeah, keep tying him up, and then swinging. Oh, that's not working, is it? That worked. Didn't really do a lot of damage, though, which is kind of surprising. But this is, like, my best tactic with axes, because I have no combos, no real skill in it. But it doesn't take any skill to pin a guy in the corner and just hammer on him. There we go. Well, that worked. As victor in this round, he shall proceed to the next. <laughs> the first combatant will be the victor of many previous tournays and a combatant today too, Peter, called Black Peter. Finally, our rematch. And he will face Henry of Skelets from the company of Sir Radzik Kobler. Welcome, our warriors. All is prepared for the first duel. We will witness a duel with longswords. Okay. We know how dangerous this guy is. He's the only person to beat us so far. And he did it twice. Oh, man. Well played, sir. Well played. Two can play that game, though. Nice. Oh no, he got got me on the follow up. Yeah, stay in that corner. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh. Out of range. Well that was weird. Nice. Ooh, that was supposed to be a combo, it was the right sequence, but it didn't go, but I'm kind of glad it didn't, because he got stabbed in the face instead of whatever else it would have been. I'm just going to stand there, I guess, or not. Ooh, okay. Oh, man. Now we got to use his weapon. Which and is what? Time, Axes. Choose weapons for the next duel. Prepare to watch a fierce fight with axes and shields. Jokes on you, Peter. I learned the trick to axes. You just spam the shit out of them. Now that I know their secret, you have no chance. Okay, that definitely cleaved right through him. But okay. Oh, I should probably do something about that. There we go. Yeah, keep him, keep him against the wall. Nice. I think body shots are more effective with this axe, though. When we hit the other guy in the body, he went down way quicker. Going after the head didn't really seem to do much. But yeah. Pin him in the corner and just pummel him to death. Appears to work pretty well. Oh god, that was... Unpleasant. Let's get some stamina back here. But he's almost done. Ha! Oh! Oh, we got him! In the second duel, he is Henry of Scalets. Lords and ladies, good men and good wives, you have just witnessed the final duel in today's Ratai tournay. For which we all owe gratitude to Sir Hanush of Lipa. All glory to the victor, Henry of Skelets, man at arms in the company of Sir Radzik Kobela. His prize will be given to him 
by our gracious Sir Hanush. Here, Henry, your prize. Thank you. Thank you so much. You've earned it. Good luck to you. Cool. So one piece of the armor set. Let's take a look at those. I forgot to bet on myself. Damn. Uh, so we got the gauntlets, which I'm not super excited about. But these are the Lords of Lipa gauntlets. Um, I, I don't know that they're, or any of this armor, for that matter, is unique. I think it's just a slightly different texture on existing stuff. But it's a little bit darker metallic color, and then everything's trimmed in light gold. So it's, the overall set's pretty cool. But uh, I don't know how excited I am about gauntlets. Right, so, with that out of the way, how much time do we have left today? Not a lot, that's unfortunate. Why is Radzig tripping out? Oh, it's Milan. It wasn't Radzig, it was Milan. Okay. So, I think it's probably out of the question to make it all the way up here to deal with some cumins before the end of the day, so probably not going to be able to pull that off. Um, there is some quests happening in Talmberg still, something in Ravenna. Ah, but we could go and deliver the Waffenrocks to the Miller. That's something that we'll have time for. Oh, there you are. I forgot I put it, I put pebbles in the stable. Yeah. Oh, what the f hell? Now we'll have another bout. I won't be robbed of my winnings by some lousy oh. greenhorn. Uh, apparently, Black Peter is not too pleased with our victory there. Okay, I guess we're doing this. Uh, very clever to put a rope there. I didn't even notice. <laughs> I wasn't even like looking at the screen. I was just kind of autopiloting the horse and smacked right into it. No, no, no. Block, block, block. Nice. There we go. See, there's one hole in your strategy here, and uh, that is, of course, I already beat you twice. And so, starting a fight with me a third time isn't necessarily to your advantage. Let's see, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Get elbowed in the face, or in that case, punched. Oh. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, we got we got him down to like half health, so we're doing pretty good here. Oh, that was a mistake. That was weird. Oh no, he poisoned me. Oh, a bastard. Ah, so he had a plan. Beyond picking another fight with me. It's cheating. Uh, I better end this soon, because I can't take an antidote until the fight's over. I kind of screwed that up. Oh, strength perk. Nice. I haven't had one of those in a long time. We're pretty close to max strength, if not there right now. Uh, apparently that just went right through him. Nice, nice, nice. And big overhead swing. <laughs> Is that the best you can do? To I mean, with you. taking you to school for the third time in a row. <laughs> nice. Okay, well played there. Um, poison is probably going to do me in before he is. Well, I'd better stop playing around, I guess. Nice. Now, can we do a left? Oh, he screwed it up. <laughs> if he didn't get knocked back like that, I would have uh, been able to pull that combo off. Crap. I need to hit him a couple more times here. Nice. Okay, running out of time here. We're running out of time. No more fooling around. Yeah. 
Oh, crap. Nice. Down you go, you bastard. Um, I better take this antidote. Good thing I have one. So let's eat that. And I'm going to take a marigold decoction as well, because that'll give me a little bit of health regen. Let's end him. Alright, that was a hell of a fight. I mean, if he hadn't poisoned me, it probably wouldn't have been nearly as close. I'll take his stuff. We can go sell it. So, who's going to be the finalist next time? Because he's obviously not in contention. God, we destroyed all of his armor. Um, all of this is pretty valuable, actually. I think I'll just take all of it. Wow. You had some really good gear, man. Let's see. I think there's a body of water around here. So yeah, he, he got me with the rope. I did not even see it. Nice touch. As done as you asked. Excellent, Henry. I look forward to the latest news from Talmberg. I hope Captain Robot rubs the commander's nose right in it. Have you got any more jobs for me? Of course. You're just in time. I could do with a horse. And since I'm setting the task, I'll go further. I'd like a strong stallion direct from the Merhoyed stables. Now that's no mean feat, you're asking. As well I know. And well I'll pay. I'll steal that horse for you, but the rewards had better be worth it. Don't worry. But you'd best not come back with some old nag. So, I don't know how Henry's gonna feel about uh, stealing a horse. Especially from... The Merhoyed stables. If we could just bring him any old horse, I don't know that it would be such a problem. Like we could get one from Bandit Camp or something. But if we have to steal it from them, maybe Henry will try to find a way to, uh, you know, offer up some sort of exchange so that the the stables aren't out a bunch of money from their missing horse. Well, the day's nearly over, and Henry's in no shape to go out looking for more trouble, so I think I'm going to go ahead and let him uh, read a little bit and rest, and then we'll set out in the morning. All right, we are cumin hunting. And let's see what kind of haul we've got today. Ah, damn it. I knew that was going to be left. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did I get him? I think I got him. I don't understand you. You're shouting at somebody that doesn't speak. What is it, Hungarian? Everybody speaking English in the game is supposedly speaking Czech, and then these guys are actually speaking Hungarian, I believe. Ah, it was short. Come on, fight me. There we go. Well, I guess we can try to practice some combos on this guy. Uh, that should have been one. Uh -oh. yeah. That wasn't too bad. I mean, that would have really hurt his elbow. But it didn't really hurt our health bar at all. Oh, hello. Where the hell did you come from? That was a very poor decision on your part. Come on. Attack. Defend. Do something. Uh, I can't remember what my other combos are. 
Ow. Story of my life. I'll just have to keep doing Scar Maker over and over again. It's just so easy. There we go. Finally, damn. Uh, I don't think their weapons are worth anything. There we go. The quick mercy kill. Oops, I pressed F and not E. It says we're still in combat. Oh, there it goes. So, ear and mask, and then anything else that's worth money. Or money itself. Uh, somebody's still speaking Hungarian out here. Oh, look. Surprise! Where did you come from? And why Why were you patrolling in your pajamas? That's so weird. Alright, so what do they have stashed in this cave? Uh, I see a couple chests. Looks like they might have been sleeping in here, too. I thought that was blood. That looks to be ore. So this was an old mine. Whoa, what was that? I thought somebody was like walking into me. Is this a dead end? Yeah. Okay. And nothing over there. So let's start with this chest here. Oh, it's already open. How convenient. I would have liked some lock picking skill out of it though. God, I'm going to be so encumbered after this. And this is a very hard lock. Too difficult for us. Uh, we have to hit 15 and get the... Get the master training or whatever. We're pretty close. We're at 13. So I just need to find more locks to pick to get that skill up. I've taken care of that camp. Have you brought me proof? Here it is. Well, that is a fine bit of news. Some farmers from Ujits came to the castle with a complaint. There's another encampment to the east of the village. Very well. I'll take a look then. Alright, before I head to uh, Sasau to conduct this investigation, I'd like to hear from the quarryman himself. So let's have a quick word uh, with Rupert here. Sir Divish mentioned you've been having one or two problems. Well, he's not wrong. Thanks to these rumors going around, my stone blocks are just sitting here. Or lying. What happened with the stone? A beast broke off one and fell on someone. And they blame it on the quality of the stone. Ha! I bet they were too drunk to see straight. And isn't it possible that... It's not. I sent them the best stone. It would be a sin to cut corners to try and make money from the house of God. Ugh. I'm sorry you have so many worries. I hope it all ends well. It'll end, one way or the other. It reeks of profiteering. And politics. Alright, so here we are in Sasau. So let's head into town here. I'm not going to head up to the monastery or anything yet. Because uh, there's a couple of quests that we not only need to like investigate further, turn in, but also... Uh, there's a couple of quest givers in the area that we'll want to talk to. So the first is going to be the swordsmith, I believe, here. Any chance of some work? Well, come to think, there is one rather delicate matter to attend to. A while ago, a holy man came by here. He said he'd come from the Holy Land, and he was selling various relics he'd collected on his travels to pay his way. I see. Well, I heard he had some fragments of a sacred sword that once belonged to the fabled Czech Queen of Sheba. But by the time he reached me, he had no pieces left of the sword. All he had was some dubious wares, splinters from our Lord's cross, thorns from the crown, nothing of interest to me. And where did the pieces of the sword go? He sold them off to swordsmiths and blacksmiths hereabouts. They just keep them lying around at home for good luck. If I had them, I'd forge them back into a sword. Can you even imagine what power it would command? If you could get me all the pieces of the sword, I'd repay you very handsomely. Are you sure the Queen of Sheba's a Czech queen? Who else would she be? Have you not heard of her? Our son priest. She's in the Bible. Uh-huh. 
Isn't it a bit strange that some pilgrim would have something so valuable? Are you suggesting you might have been lying? Well, people aren't to be trusted, but this is nothing to joke about. God would smite him in a flash if he made light of holy relics that way. What kind of power did this sword have? What do you think? It brought his bearer good luck in combat and protection from enemies. I could do with a sword like that. What if you sold it to me? Well, everything has its price. But this one would be expensive. Getting hold of the bits is one thing. Forging them back together is quite another. That tinkerer from Ratai couldn't manage it. Where can I find the powers? Like I said, the smith hereabouts bought them from me. They say the largest piece is with the Ratai swordsmith. The bastard probably won't want to sell. But if you manage to swipe it somehow... Well, it does sound very interesting. I'll ask them and see what I can do. Excellent. You'll see you won't regret it. I'll pay you well. And my respects to you. I'm looking for pieces of a sword that a pilgrim from the Holy Land was selling. Would you happen to know anything about it? I would. Of course I would. Well? It's a load of tripe. Only a fool would have given that trickster a single groschen, and I'm no fool. How about you? But if he lied about that sort of stuff, it would be a terrible sin. <laughs> Don't be so gullible, lad. <laughs> that bastard never saw the Holy Land. Unless it was in a fresco. They say you're the best blacksmith in the whole region. That metal you've tempered never breaks. Ha! Ah, nothing but old wives' tales. Of course some of my pieces are broken, but only ever here, at the smithy. No one's ever returned anything for you to rework, though, have they? Not that I recall, but I can't remember everything. Father was a blacksmith all my life. He always stoked up the furnace till it roared gently, and you could smell the heated iron. Then he plunged it into the water, and that was that. Fine words, and no mistake. I do it a little differently. I heat until the metal is two, three shades short of bright yellow. I ease up on the bellows, and after a Lord's Prayer and a Hail Mary, off it goes into the water. It's, um... It's strange to think that I'll never help him out with it again. Our forge will stay burned out forever. Unless I go back to the trade myself. It would be a shame not to, lad. Working iron is a worthwhile thing. Godly. It makes life easier for fools. And, let's be honest, you can make a decent living doing it. And is that all? There's nothing else you do with it? Well, that depends. I heat it up again after that, but not so it starts to glow. I just hold it like this at the edge of the furnace for a while, and then quench it again. You quench twice? Yes, although there's less quenching needed the second time, it doesn't get quite so hot. And how does that help? I don't rightly know. I found out about it by chance. I got caught short, needed to piss so bad, I left the rod resting by the furnace by mistake. That's how I found out if you quench twice, it doesn't break as easily. No idea why, but I've tried it enough times to know it works. Okay, so we found the grave of the man who was uh, buried here that's been haunting that uh, old butcher lady. So let's pick the flowers growing from his grave. And we'll take those back with us for the exorcism later. Huh. I know you. I know you from somewhere. Hmm. Where do I know you from? What? Of course, my dream. You were in a boat made of bone, Lean, and I put a crown of thorns on your head. All right, tell me about this dream of yours. That dream? Yes, that dream has come true. I dreamt that a young man would become my apprentice, my own pupil in the trade of miracles. And that's supposed to be me. Who oh, well. else? What's and your again. name, young man? Oh. Henry. Henry. Hmm. A powerful name. So, Henry, are you ready to become my apprentice? First, tell Lean, me, who are you, and what do you do? Me? 
I am an unworthy, low, and miserable servant of Providence. Scholar or merchant, believer or, or heathen, I wander the world without home or family, with only my wagon offering miracles to those that need them. That's who I am. Without home or kin, I wander this world with my wagon, providing the miracles that people need. Ointments, relics, aromatic herbs, rare spices, talismans and amulets for luck. All these things I have. What exactly does it entail, becoming your apprentice? No, a lot of work and strenuous labor. Knowledge of medicine, theology, and white magic. You have to study the great works of the ancients and devote your time to understanding your fellow men, listening to them, and learn to read their souls. That's a pretty challenging task. That's why God has sent you. So what do you say? <laughs> All right, I'll be your apprentice. Wonderful! Oh, glorious day! I have a successor in my work. So, how do you plan to start training me? With a test of your practical Good skill. Good wives, oh. come have a look. Don't be shy. I have You'll my eye on three things. rare objects of great value. But sadly, they're a little difficult to obtain. Go on. Green, fatty, marbles, meats of all kinds. First, I need a tooth of Saint Procopius. Then I'll need a branch from a topping out hung on a church. And finally, a talisman. For luck, I'm a passionate player. Bloody hell, that's a lot. All right, one thing at a time. About that tooth, it's going to be slightly more complicated, isn't it? I know. Yes, it would be very difficult to gain such a rare relic, of course. That's why I have an alternative solution. I'm listening. A layman named Procopius lives by the monastery, and it just so happens, thanks to my intricate medical knowledge, that I found out he has a sick tooth. How did he find out he has a sore tooth? Uh, as it happens, he told me at the tavern. But that's not important. And how am I supposed to get the tooth? I haven't the faintest idea. You'll have to think of something. But maybe you'll be able to persuade him to let the blacksmith pull it. Wouldn't that be swindling people? It is, and it isn't. If I sell that tooth as the tooth of St. Procopius, then it certainly is deceitful. But if I sell it as a tooth from Procopius of Sassau, then I'm cheating Salome, nobody. Sausages, does it really matter whose tooth I bring then? Of course it does. More than the the name cake. Procopius in this holy land is shrouded with mystical power. Sometimes I might play a trivial trick on someone, but I assure you, I'm no swindler. Fine. Mate, I'll get it from him. And fresh, One. From the woods or from the pen. This topping out, what's that? <laughs> You're not a carpenter, it seems. No, I'm a blacksmith. I see. Well, uh, a topping a out is a decorated spruce or a conifer tree hung on Come top of the sing. roof of a new house to bring good fortune and God's blessing. Well, then all we need to do is break off a branch somewhere, buy a few ribbons, and we've got our own homemade topping out right there. You don't understand, young man. The topping out was sanctified by a priest, and it hangs on the highest church far and wide. You can't just replace it with a decorated branch. Fair enough. That topping off is hung pretty high, isn't it? Naturally. It hangs on the rooftop according to tradition, and the church is tall. And how am I supposed to get it down? Damned if I know. But they had to get it up there somehow, didn't they? Very well. I'll get it. This player's talisman. Where am I supposed to find it? I actually have a specific one in mind. Here at the inn, there's a dice player who always has a cat's paw with him. That's supposed to bring him luck. A cat's paw? Lean, fatty, I thought players marble, bring along a rabbit's paw for luck. Uh, I thought so too. This man is winning one game after another, so if your cats are down, clearly even more powerful than rats. Good. If your oh. husband is murdered, ask How am I supposed to get the talisman from him? I haven't a clue. 
It won't be easy, but I'm sure you'll find a way. We'll see. I'll get looking for those things then. Excellent! You do that, my journeyman. Good luck. All right, here's our man. Good day to you. You must be that lucky fellow everyone's talking about. Lady Luck has been good to me lately, true enough. But that can change quicker than you know. People say that you get help from a lucky charm. Is that not allowed? No, it is. It just interests me, that's all. Why? I'd like to try that luck of yours. Let's play for your talisman. <laughs> As you wish. My talisman against your groschen. Sure. There'd be no point in it otherwise. Your fame proceeds you. All right, but let's you won't see get this. The better of me. What do we got here? A couple fives and a one. Let's hold those for five hundred and this for six. And I'll definitely pass on that. How did he do? He's got a couple uh, special dice in there. Hmm. They look to all be the same one, though. Okay. This will be the one. I hope not. Wow. Hmm. Well, only so much you can do with three dice. Is he just going to keep rolling? Huh? Nope. Okay. How did we do here? Three ones. I'll happily take that. And I'm not going to risk losing that, so I'm just going to pass there again. And that means a 400-point turn will be enough to win it for us. <sighs> Ooh, he was very, very close to having a high score there. Uh, okay. That'll do me. Pretty conservative move, especially with how far ahead I am, but fine. And there's our victory. Well, seems my luck's run out. Damn it. Seeing how I lost. I reckon that cat's paw don't bring luck anymore. <laughs> Not to you, anyway. So, thanks for the game. Alright, that's one relic down. One cat paw for luck. Wonderful! How did you obtain it? You wouldn't believe it. I won it from him. Oh, no, you don't! Now the talisman won't bring its owner luck anymore. Oh, I didn't think of that. Oh, well, luckily it's a cat's paw, so it has other uses. That will be all for now. It doesn't look good. What? What are you talking about? Your tooth. I bet it hurts a lot, doesn't it? How do you know about that? As a practitioner of the healing arts, I recognize the signs of a sick tooth. You have a bloated face, you're sweating, and the way you breathe is absolutely typical of the condition. You're a physician? Isn't that what I said? And if I can give you some advice, you should have it removed. There's a blacksmith down in the town. No, no, no. There's no way I'm putting myself in the hands of that butcher. I understand. But look here. I know about healing. I can go along with you and make sure everything goes as it should. You do that? Of course. Jesus Christ. I'm a grown man and I need an escort. You don't have to be embarrassed. Every man in the world's afraid of having his teeth pulled. I know, but even so... Let's go, then, and get this over with. Jesus, it's going to be really painful, isn't it? Don't worry. It will hurt a little, but then you'll feel relieved. You'll see. If you say so. I don't know. Isn't that a waste of time? Maybe it'll go away on its own. Are you mad? It won't go away, it'll just get worse. The sooner we get it out, the better. Yes, yes, you're right. Look, I, I can't. It's embarrassing. I'm a coward, and I won't be able to handle it. We're almost there. Just be a man about it. You're right. Let's go. All right, let's do it. Hold him tight. Let's do it. Ah, look! Jesus. 
It's out. They want to keep it as a memento. I love it. Oh, all right. The tooth of Layman Procopius, which definitely isn't holy. It isn't. But then again, one day, it could be. You never know what course a man's life might take. I suppose not. But it wasn't easy to get. So if anyone's the miracle worker here, it's me. Calm now. Don't exaggerate. That will be all for now. Isn't that... What? Shit! Henry! Henry! Here! Matthew! Fritz! You're alive! Of course we're alive. He can't get rid of us that easily. I'm almost surprised how happy I am to see the pair of you are all right. We are now, but we barely made it. Yeah, yeah, it was hard. Fritz ran like a little girl. <laughs> really? Bollocks. Bloody joker. <laughs> Tell us what happened to you. They gave me a pretty good thrashing as well. It was only in Rattai that I got back in my right mind. And I see you're not doing too badly for yourself. What are you up to? Right now, I'm a squire for Sir Radzig. I see you've worked your way up. Nah. And how are you two getting by? It's shit. You said it. We're still chopped off to bits. Oh, the monastery a bundle. And there's no work here. Not for anyone with more than half a brain, anyway. Well, you two and work never got along. But don't tell me that they're not in need of carpenters. They're reconstructing the monastery. They don't want to fail. And there's nothing else around here. Hey, you wouldn't happen to know of anything. It will really help us out right now. I'll find you something. You can rely on me. Thanks, Henry. We'll pay off the debt, don't you worry. And where would they hire you to? Well, we were carpenters in the mines. So wherever they work with wood, I suppose. Forget about construction. After Scarlet's, no one will be building for a long time. Just here in Sasau, and they don't want us here. The best chance we have is to work at a mill. People always have to eat. Ideally, we're looking for a job that pays a lot and doesn't require much work. What other neighbours of ours made it? Your hunker's in the monastery. That girl really helped us out. That's about all we know. When we ran for it, we helped Teresa. But who knows where she is now? We got separated. I owe my life to Teresa. She hauled me unconscious to the mill in Ratai and nursed me back to health. I'm glad she survived. Since you know her so well, why not try asking her if she knows about any work? All right, well, fancy running into them here. Uh, we'll have to talk to Teresa next time we swing by home, but for now, let's go see how Johanka's doing. Johanka? Uh, Henry? I'm glad to see you. Me too. I heard that you're doing well. Well... That depends. You're alive. So you're doing well. What's happening here? Oh my god. Philip and... They're all... Yes? Where do you think the wounded ended up? Actually, uh, I had no idea. Well, now you know. Me and Nicodemus have been trying to keep things under control since Scalettes was raised. Just the two of us. Um... Can I help at all? Certainly. We can always use an extra pair of hands here. And it's been like that since the beginning. I was in a bad way myself back then. They took me to Ratai unconscious and I needed a healer. Hmm. How is everyone holding up? What can I do? Holding up? People here are dying, usually needlessly, and I can't do anything about it. We don't have enough food or space or anyone who's willing to help us. Doesn't the monastery care for them? They give us some food for them and a place to sleep. But I wouldn't say they help exactly. More like they just tolerate us. Doesn't anyone help you with nursing these people? You've got scholars all around you. <laughs> scholars, maybe. But they leave the healing up to God. Nicodemus is trying, but everything he knows is from his books. Can I have a look at them myself? I know a little about healing. Do you now? And what would you do if you burnt yourself at the forge? First, you have to cool it down with water. Marigold ointment helps, 
And it's better if you don't bind it and let it breathe. Hmm. You do know what you're talking about. Looks like blacksmiths know about more than just pulling teeth. Pulling teeth? Nothing to it. As long as you don't squeeze the pincers too hard and crush them. Well, go and see if anyone needs anything. Just don't go pulling anyone's teeth. Anything else you need? Look around. Well, it is a little crowded. Crowded? I've had to leave some of the sick lying in the open air, even at night. And have you seen what they're lying on? Hmm. I'll try to negotiate better conditions with the monastery. I tried that, out loud. They just nod their heads, but don't move a muscle. Do you have enough food? Enough to survive, maybe. But convalescents need feeding up. Maybe if I brought some meat, some game, that would strengthen them up. That would be a great help. And how are you doing? You're the only woman here, alone in the monastery. <laughs> some of the monks speak to me, but other people act like I don't exist. Too bad the custodian isn't one of those. Is the custodian causing you problems? All the time. Apparently he has a wife somewhere, but that doesn't stop him. He's constantly strutting around in front of me. And, um, what else? What do you mean, what else? He's invited me to his home. I could do something about it, if, if you like. <sighs> no, I can deal with him. The last thing I need is you going around threatening people. It won't help me, and it definitely won't help the refugees. What can you tell me about the custodian? He's supposed to be in charge of all the guards and the security of the monastery. But really, he has a say in pretty much everything, including supplies. And that's why he probably thinks he can do whatever he wants. Why is there a guard outside? He's here because of me. Because of you? Yes. There was one time I just had enough of it all, of the way they treat us, and I almost slapped one of... But that doesn't matter. All right, that's all I need to know. Look, Henry, I know I can speak harshly, but I'm at the end of my tether. Last week, Bohoslav died. Maybe you knew him. And nobody even blinked an eye. We desperately need help. I'll do whatever's in my power. You're the one who's in charge of the wounded. Yes, I'm the Infirmarius here. Time was I only had a few elderly monks who couldn't walk to take care of. Now I have this mess to deal with. Can't believe your conscience lets you leave the Scalit's locals in such a state. I know. I'm shamed. But my brothers believe it's all in God's hands now. Even so, conditions here seem to me quite unchristian. You're not the only one. Some of them are well taken care of. But others... Others are dying here, needlessly. It's a good thing we have Johanka here. I'd never be able to manage on my own. Why are they so badly provided for? People are crammed in next to each other, and some have to sleep outside. That can't be good for them. It gets freezing here at night. I've... I can't afford anything more for them. How is that possible? You're the Infirmarius. You decide how all the money gets spent. But I have no say in how much money I'm given. And because the abbot's away, it's still the same amount I had when I was taking care of a few old men. So you don't normally treat the wounded, then? Well, there were accidents, of course. A broken leg, someone who'd been kicked by a cow or bitten by a goat. But this? I've never dealt with the carnage of battle before. If only it had been a battle. This was cold-blooded slaughter. You were there? God be merciful to you and the dead and the wounded. Can't you do anything? Won't the others help? Unfortunately not. The brothers in the cloister aren't much interested in the external world. And the custodian has enough on his plate with the chaos in the region. Besides, his main concern is the smooth running of the monastery. And the local custodian? His crew has enough provisions. I tried him. But it seems he had some disagreement with the Ohanker, and now he won't give us anything. Hmm. I'll try to talk to him. Alright, let's see if we can't help out a little bit here. These wounds have been well taken care of. 
Christ above! I can't get a wink of sleep. What are you making such a fuss about? A fuss? Because of my leg, I have to stay here for at least another week. Hurts like fuck. And with everyone else moaning and groaning all night, I can't get any sleep. Why don't you go and lie somewhere else? I can't. Not with this leg. Maybe I can make you something to help you sleep. Oh, then for God's sake, do it quickly. Good luck to you. Okay, so we'll have to figure out what we can do about that. Can you get out of my way there, Betty? He just needs to sleep. Okay, so he's fine. What about this guy here? Uh, 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 what do you want? You're not from Scallets? No, but please help me. I can't stay here. What happened to you? I was working on the building when the scaffolding up by the roof collapsed underneath me. Well... And you're very lucky you survived at all. Yes, that's what everyone tells me. But it's no use being alive if all I can do is lie here like a wet sack of barley. Well, you're pretty battered, but I don't see anything that a few weeks rest can't fix. Weeks? My God, I have to get back to work sooner than that. What's the problem? Why can't you stay until you heal? I have a family. I'm poor. It's only thanks to the building work that we can survive. And the master told me, if I don't come back in a few days, then I shouldn't come back at all. And where can me and my wife go then? Who'll take us in? We'll end up living in the woods, where any bandit or ruffian can sit on us. Is there anything I can do to help? It looks like they took care of your wounds. When I was little, my father got trampled on by a horse, and an old hag from the village gave him some kind of purple herbs for it. And he got better very quickly. And do you remember what the herbs were? I don't. But there's supposed to be the whole cursed knowledge of the world in this place. Something has to be written about it. A herbarium. Anything. I'll try to find something. Thank you. Thank you. May the Lord watch over you. Huh? <sighs> Why are you wigging me? You look alright. Mostly. But my leg still hurts. Did the Cumans wound you? That's what I tell the ladies. Truth is, I did myself a mischief while I was running away. Hmm. And do they rebandage it for you? Occasionally. They told me they don't have enough bandages. Well, that's no use. Those bandages need changing. I've got bandages, so I can take care of it. Wonderful. Could you tell Brother Nicodemus? I can do it myself. Um, I thought you were a blacksmith. A long time ago. But unfortunately, I've had to learn a thing or two about the art of medicine since then. Well, fine then. God. Hmm. He's not reacting. But all I can see that's wrong with him is his leg. I have to ask you, Hanka. What's wrong with that man by the altar? He doesn't look wounded, but he's really pale. He doesn't react at all. He had a broken leg. A bad one. The bone had come right through the skin. We tried to straighten it, but I don't know if we did it right. I'm not holding out much hope for him. I've seen folk in that state before, and it didn't end well. My God, there has to be something we can do. And what do you suggest? The monks won't help, and I don't know anyone else who can. Well, I can try. I'll straighten his leg. You? Unfortunately, I've had occasion to try this sort of thing before. You have to place the bones as precisely as you can next to each other. It's hard, but you have to ignore any screams of pain. That's the only way to help him. Well, fine. Try it then. One of the sick men, Semek, is complaining about pain and the fact he can't work. He says he... Semek? Is he one of our people? No, he's a construction worker. He's bruised and confined to... Henry, for God's sake, our neighbors are dying here. Your friends. There isn't time to waste on some construction workers' bruises. Oh, honestly, what were you thinking? Listen, all I need to find out is the name of a herb. Then go and look it up in a book. You've got your own herbarium, haven't you? Philip, from Scallets. I don't see any wounds, but he's shaking terribly. What happened to Philip? Poor man. There was nothing wrong with him, and now he's getting worse every day. But do you know why? 
Maybe. He didn't run away from Scalitz, you see. He hid for days among the corpses. If he got poisoned. But what can we do? Us. Nothing. Only Father Simon might have been able to save him. He knew a lot about poisons. And where is he? You know he left Scalitz years ago. And does anyone know where he ended up? <laughs> if you believe the stories about a wild man in the woods, then Rovnar is the place to go.